Good Friday, everyone. Had some internet connectivity issues this morning, but that has been resolved, so I'm ready to roll now. Look at our weather map for today. We see lots of showers and thunderstorms across much of the country. A lot of this is that heat of the day pop-up stuff that that we see this time of the year. The greatest risk for severe weather is across West Virginia, Eastern Kentucky, Southwest Virginia, and those folks are under a severe thunderstorm watch for the rest of the afternoon. The Storm Prediction Center had considered issuing a watch for our area, but storms stayed um, sub-severe for the most part, and so they didn't feel that watch was warranted in our neck of the woods. Um, our storms were certainly on the stronger side in some locations, but um, for the most part did stay below severe limits. If you look down to the south, you see Hurricane Barrel, mo Barrel moving across the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. That's that storm is weakening. It's down to 85 miles per hour now. Will weaken further. Will likely emerge into the southwest Gulf as a tropical storm, but it will have time to re-strengthen in the warm waters of the Gulf as it moves northwest towards south Texas. So um, lots of folks will be paying very close attention to the weather forecast for Barrel as we go through the weekend. Our five-day forecast brought to us by Clearview Closet and Blind. There's that 70% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms for our Friday Probably looking about at about a 50% chance the rest of the day. That 70% was for the whole day. But I'd say from now on, about a 50-50 shot for a shower storm. Some of the short-term models are showing some more activity developing um, this evening. Just kind of scattered about the area. Nothing to cancel outdoor plans over, but make sure you have access to shelter. Highs in the mid-80s. Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-80s on Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday, we're back to hot and humid. Um, and then we'll introduce a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look at our severe weather graphic brought to us by Premier Generators. Looking at that straight line wind threat being the main threat, there's always a risk for some hail, and then there's always a risk for flooding because the rain could come in an inch and 10 minutes. So um, low end threats um, for the rest of the day, but certainly not zero. On this day in 1968, Clarksville establishes a new record low for July with a reading of 47. <clears throat> Crossville sets a daily record low of 50 degrees. So can you imagine being 50 degrees this time of the year? 1966, the AS-203 rocket launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The Apollo AS-203 mission was an uncrewed test of the vehicle's second stage. And this would all culminate in uh, landing us on the moon a few years later. So lots of testing had to be done to get it just right. You folks have a wonderful Friday. Keep looking up for more weather information and keep up with all the crazy weather. Meteorologistmark.com.